Good morning everyone and welcome back to No Man's Land. We've got a few different jobs to do today because we are running out of time before the end of the series and we've got to be able to do the cotton. That is the aim of the end of the series, to get cotton done. Now, today we are actually going to buy something. We're going to buy this. Um, I've had a look at a few different options and I find this injector the easiest to use. So, although this is actually a fairly small capacity, it should be good anyway. So this is a new piece of kit. Now, obviously the reason we need the slurry spreader is because we've got a lot of slurry and quite a lot of digestate as well. So we're going to be using this to get the fields prepared. We've got the field over there, which I did seed it with oil seed radish. I'm certain of it, but it hasn't started growing yet. Um, quite surprising. Yes, I, I put it in. Not sure why it hasn't. It usually would have started by now. So in between episodes I cleared up all the straw and we have now got 134,000 litres of straw and 300,000 litres of whole crop which hopefully next episode we can get put into the um, Silage pit. That's the word I was looking for. Whoops. <laughs> that was not what I wanted to do. Just spin him round. He's, he's kind of in an awkward position. But I think I can tuck the slurry spreader in. Let's have a look. Can we? Can we? And obviously we've got digestate that we can also use for this guy. So we're going to get him filled up. Also what we need to do today is the canola. We need to get that sorted. Um, so we've got two fields currently that need to be spread. We will have a third one. But not just yet. Because we've got to actually harvest the canola first. So we're going to start with the big field. It's an ambitious target because the big field, I'm sure, is going to use up all of our slurry in one go and not even touch the field. We found before when we did slurry spreading with the enormous uh, spreader, admittedly I made a mess of that, but yes, we could see that it was uh, using quite a lot. So. Let's just get ourselves into the correct position because that was not. We could have gone with one of the ones that cultivates at the same time, but I decided not to. And I think it's going to be better anyway because our cultivator is quite big. So we can get the field cultivated more quickly. It does mean two steps which does means more time and more fuel used but as this isn't FS22 we're not getting an environmental school so I don't worry too much about the amount of fuel I'm using so we're gonna rapidly get round this field um, I think we will do it on a time lapse because I'm gonna need to go and refill and I may also have to go and get digestate I don't think this is gonna last very long we are using a little bit more than a quarter of a tank on each run so yeah I think we're gonna need to refill at some point so let's uh, start a little time-lapse
status quo If we stop believing we're meant to be Expanding our abilities If the passion's gone, we are doing it wrong Baby, you and I, baby, you and I should start living now slurry done we do have digest egg and I am going to spread that uh, so I'm going to continue that off screen just to get the field finished I'll show you how far three tanks got us not bad at all um, I think doing it in a more controlled way because obviously last time I was doing it in a very messy way I think doing it in a more controlled way yes I am trying to barge that um, makes it better and digestate wise, we have got a lot, I believe, because I've been selling, I sold another two loads of slurry over, um, silage overnight, so we have got even more in here. Now this one, huh, is it because this guy's in the way? Is it because I'm not in the right position? Because that's weird that he won't fill up. Let's try it again. Because yes, I believe. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Lovely thick black sludge. Right, I'm going to get the rest of that field done. I'll see you when it's all finished. Right, so the field is now done, and that means it's time for us to start the canola harvest. 
We are obviously going to pick up all the straw straight away and get it sold because it's a decent amount of money we get. Uh, I, should put, I should put the time up. Now, regarding the rest of the fields, um, I don't want to spend the entire episode doing slurry and things like that. Right, I had to do a slightly unscheduled um, jump cut there. It wasn't planned, it was just because one of the neighbours started talking to me through the window. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. Anyway, I'm going to get this done. I'm going to get it done nice and quickly so that we can pick up all of the straw. And if we have a look here, that field is now perfect in terms of first stage. And that's good news. We've got the one over there with the oil seed radish. That one will also have first stage once we cultivate it in. And I um, shouldn't have swung back so quickly then. And I think we'll probably put some digestate on it once we've actually got it finished. Yeah, once we've cultivated it. Because that will just mean then that it's, well, it's perfect. It will be perfect before we even put the crop in. And that is a very good position to be in, really. Um, this large field will probably end up spraying it the second time. But we need to get ourselves a planter. It's going to be a bit of a labour of love, the planting, because we can't can't have anything absolutely enormous, I don't think. We'll take the biggest possible planter we can get, but I'm just not sure how much room or how much we can pull. Our tractor is 280, and if we look at the planters, let's have a look at the big ones. So that's that's 280 exactly. 300, that's 180 and 9 meters. Now that's <coughs> 180 and 9 meters, and that's 12. Hmm. These are the ones with the optional fertilization, so we'd go with one of those if we were going to go with any. That's just a little bit too powerful. I suppose we could use this, that's probably a good shout. Hmm doesn't contain much seed, that's the only problem, but it would work. So I think next time we'll probably start working on getting the canola plant, the canola, the cotton planted. Now, I know already, based on cotton harvesting speed, if we do all four of these fields, which is the plan, if we do all four of the fields, we are going to have to do it over two episodes or it's going to be just too big a job because it's not something with a nice big header like we have here you might be able to download something with a silly sized header but I don't I don't really want to I'd like to keep it sensible really so that means using the standard equipment um, I am gonna have GPS on because that is just an absolute must to be honest really really need to have GPS just to make this job easier but anyway enough waffling I think now I'm just gonna get this field done very quickly so that we can then move on to getting all of the straw collected see you in a second very last section here and um, we've got a decent amount of canola actually considering the size of this field. I'm quite impressed. There you go. So, we just let the straw empty out the back. And then, I don't actually have a trailer available right now. Well, I do. I have a trailer, but I don't have anywhere to put the trailer, if that makes sense. It's because um, I'm currently blocking the grain dryer. So, I need to go and shuffle that around. Because obviously I want to get this into the dryer straight away. So I will do that quickly and get this put in. And then we'll start the straw. Okay, so we haven't used this guy much for field work recently. So I think this is a good opportunity to get him in the field. Because he is, he is a very good machine. Very good tractor. And my pedals are starting to stick again. Which is really annoying. Because every now and again it will just turn off the uh, cruise control. 
as you may have noticed if you were watching closely during the time lapse of the slurry spreading. Probably caused me to use more slurry than I should have done as well because of that. Which is not good. But at least we have plenty of the other stuff. What's it called? Digestate. Yeah, we've got loads of that. And in fact, I will probably... I'm not sure how much we've got left in the pit. There's this strange thing that if I open the entire pit and start sucking the cybage out, when I leave the game and come back, it's it doesn't know how much is in there. It's a bit weird. But because of that, I have no idea. I'd say one trailer load at least. I think it's going to be something close to one and a bit trailer loads. Maybe one and three quarters, something like that. It could be more. So I'll sell one trailer load off camera like usual. Oops. Yeah, I'll sell one and then we'll just have to see how much is actually left in there. But it's looking... Uh, it's been making us a fair bit of income each day selling that, which is good. Now I'm assuming straw is cheapest here. I really hope so. Well, more expensive even. But yeah, I really hope it is because it just makes life a lot easier. So, vehicle shop grains 127. It is going down. But it's okay. If we can sell now while the price is still good, and it means I don't have to travel all the way to the other farm shop, which is not that far, but this just makes life a lot easier, having the sell point right next to the field. So, just shy of 3,000 euros for a full trailer. Now that is good. I like that. We've got the canola in the grain dryer now, so he's going to be on his way converting getting everything sorted. Oops, I'm going off track a little. Ah. Yeah, I was getting a bit heavy handed with the steering then. So I'm going to grab... continue from where we were. We may do this as a quick time lapse. Um, I'm just going to see how much how much I can get picked up, how quickly. It's not taking too long at the moment, but I just don't want it to be a job that takes forever. Because the thing is, when these jobs take forever, I have to talk. And I have to find something interesting to talk about. Sometimes there's loads to talk about, because there's new things and there's stuff I want to do on series. Sometimes there's absolutely nothing to talk about, and then it just gets really, really boring. So I'll just grab that little piece here. Harvester dumped him out the back of him. So I'll grab him. And then I'll head up to the top and we'll just start collecting a bit more. I want a full trailer because then I can compare, because the price is going down. But if I always have a full trailer, then I can see what the difference is. Well, one thing I should say is that off camera I am still moving the wood products over to the uh, pallet factory. The pallet factory is doing well, we're keeping it going um, as best as I can anyway. I'm even stopping during sleep time so that I can do it. But you'll see the sawmill is full again. What's he full of this time? That. Okay. Uh, I don't want to release that just yet. <clears throat> but the pallet production is doing well. Wow, 383,000. 2926, so that's slightly lower. Um, yeah, what was I saying? Pallet production, yes. 385,000 litres, so he's almost full. And we get to the straw chopper. Is he finished now? He's not yet finished. He's getting close. Grain dryer. Oh, I forgot to turn the canola on. Useless, useless boy. So, that's going to process. We may need some more fuel. If we do, I can get that. Ooh, great demand at the bakery. What for? What is the great demand at the bakery for? Oh my god. It's for dried oats. Okay. 
Uh, let's just uh, stop this for a moment then, because what I've got here is a trailer of dried oats. This is amazing. I don't think that has ever happened before to me in, in offline or in the or in the series. That has never happened. That's amazing. So let's go and sell our dried oats. I mean, honestly, what are the chances? Right, start tipping. I really wish now that I hadn't sold everything last time. Because last time I sold 45,000 litres of dried oats. Absolutely shocking. Shouldn't have done that. But we'll get a nice decent amount from this. So I can't really complain, I suppose. 21,499. Oh, that is very, very good. Uh, no, I need to turn around. But I don't need to turn around on camera. So, see you in a second when I'm back over at the field collecting straw. Here we are then. And now I realised we may as well make use. Excuse the frame rate lag. But uh, we may as well make use of the fact that we've got that tractor spare and getting to do some cultivating does mean my frame rate is dropping slightly. But we can deal with it. Good news though is that the price of canola straw has stopped reducing. It has bottomed out at 127 per thousand litres. So that's that's good because it means we're not. Uh, we're not going to be losing money or having to travel to the to the Agras to drop it off. So we'll just go through very quickly and get everything. Um, I was going to do a very, very quick time lapse, but given the frame rate, I do not think that's a good idea. So I think what I'll do is we'll sell this one and then I will pick up the next load off camera. Probably going to be the most sensible option, I think. Because yeah, this is this is not a nice frame rate, really. 45, and it is dropping at certain points and picking back up again. Yeah, 27 there. Whoa, that's really not good. And it's just from course play. It only happens when I turn course play on. Right, there we go. So we'll sell this, and then I will grab the next load. It should be around the same price as last time, I think. I think. So we'll find out. So. Now, of course, we've got to pay the loan today, but I'm thinking we might pay a large chunk of the loan today. Because we're doing pretty well. And we've got lots of stuff in storage that we can sell as well. 107,000, 2422, right. Let's pay off 100k. So spam this. Okay, I actually paid off 105,000. I wasn't meant to do that. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take the loan back again. That's just silly. So I will now get this collected. See you in a second. Amazingly, managed to fit everything in. So that is good news. Because now we can sell the final load. I'm I'm pleased. We've almost got rid of the entire loan, and we've still got money available. I mean, we've got pig, uh, pig. <laughs> we've got cow money in the form of milk. That's what I meant to say. Uh, we've got twenty-four thousand liters of that. We've still got manure as well. This is awesome. We've got we've got money. We started off with so little, and we really are doing incredibly well. Uh, now, I wanted to spray on that field, but I think this is enough for today's episode. Uh, that field has obviously been cultivated. I will leave the spraying for next time. What I will do is spread slowly in that field over there. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you again soon. Bye-bye.